sacred is being held in the Palace of the East on the Isle of Rhodes for Helios, the sun god. In the distant ritual temples, the chant of the high deity priest is heard as high mass begins. While the festival is reaching its climax, four mighty steeds are being hitched to a glowing chariot with wheels of fire and will make its daily journey across the heavens from the palace of the east to the palace of the west. As Helios changes into his flowing golden cape, his two nymph daughters, Lempati and Phthusa, brush his long golden hair upon which sits his lustrous crown of fire. Heavens rumble, lightning crashes, and stars begin to fall as Helios speaks. It is time. My sister Eos, goddess of the dawn, has beckoned me to come forth. And my sister Selene, goddess of the evening, is waiting in the portals of the west. O oh, powerful Leo, king of the zodiac, with your fearless courage, guard my path so that I will have a safe journey. Mighty Taurus, your strength and vigor will clear my way, so my voyage will be straight and narrow. O oh, faithful Cancer, giant crab of the zodiac, go and fill my people's hearts with music, song, and laughter. Make their lives full of happiness and joy. The ascent begins, and as the evening approaches, the western gates open, and the golden chariot drops from the sky, and the mighty winged steeds fly back to the palace in the east, while a silver ship laden with emeralds, diamonds, and pearls is waiting to take Helios on his mighty cruise along the river Okeanos, back to the Isle of Rhodes for his next daily ascent across the heavens. At dawn, like a golden streak of light into the skies, Helios, in his mighty chariot, looks down to earth and says, The age of Aquarius is upon us. The end is near. So fill your hearts with meaningful praises for your fellow man, all races, creeds, and colors. Let them know that my journey is only to give you warmth, strength, understanding, peace, and love, to the end of our time. Let's go. 